Here we have a graph of a parabola. This parabola has a vertex at the point 1, 1, and an axis of symmetry at x is equal to 1. The standard form of an equation of a parabola with a vertex of h, k, and an axis of symmetry of x is equal to h is written as y equals a times x minus h squared plus k. If a is greater than 0, that is if a is positive, then k is the minimum and the parabola opens upward. If a is less than 0, that is if a is negative, then k is the maximum and the parabola opens downward. Here we have a graph of a parabola. The equation for this parabola is y equals 1 times x minus 1 squared plus 2. If we had negative 1, that is if a was negative, we'd have the same parabola, but now it would open downwards. Here we have the bottom part of a parabola that's a bit wider. This parabola has its focus at the point 0, 2, and its directrix at the point, or rather at the line, y is equal to negative 2. For any given point, the distance to the focus is equal to the distance to the directrix. For example, here our orange lines are each 2 units long. Here we could choose another point on the parabola. Here, the distance between the focus and the directrix is 4 units long. This orange line stretching horizontally ac across the focus is called the lattice rectum. Its length is equal to the absolute value of 1 over a. For example, here we have the equation of a parabola. 8 is equal to 1 over a. So 1 over 8 is equal to a. a is equal to 1 over 8. This lattice rectum specifies the width of our parabola. That's why if your a is smaller, you have a wider parabola, while if your a is larger, you have a more narrow parabola. Here we've graphed another blue parabola. This parabola takes the equation y equals 1 fourth times x minus 0 squared plus 0. As you can see, this parabola is almost identical, except because a is now 1 fourth, the lattice rectum is smaller, so our parabola is narrower.